sometimes it can be a hassle. It can take some time and all. I'm glad Ari to get a deal worked out. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm happy, uh, obviously, to get it done, but to get it done uh, early is really good and um, kind of just uh, put that uh, put that behind me and just, uh, you know, keep working and getting, getting ready for the season. So um, it's nice to get it done and it's nice to, uh, um, you know, just focus on uh, focus on hockey now and, um, you know, just keep trying to get better. So uh, it's good. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Hey, just one more. How pleased were you with the way things went this year? It seemed like you really, you know, took a big step forward this past season. Yeah, I was pleased for sure. I think uh, it was a big year for me. I think, uh, you know, obviously starting in GR, um, I played well there and ha- had good people around me to support me and have a plan for me. And then uh, once I got to Detroit, I just tried my best to contribute and, and play my game and, and play with confidence and play hard. So um, I think it was definitely positive for me. And I think it's just a good stepping stone for me and, um, you know, something I can just kind of build off of and, and keep working hard and, and keep, uh, you know, improving on. Sounds good. Thanks for this, Mike. Thank you. Next up, Max Boltman with The Athletic. Hey, Michael, good to see you. I was just going to ask you, you know, coming off a, a year like that where you, you kind of do cement yourself as an NHL or how, how much excitement does that carry into the off season for you as you go about all this prep? Yeah, I think uh, it makes me really excited. It makes me real hungry to, you know, get better and, um, you know, keep uh, trying to solidify myself and um, keep improving and keep, uh, you know, just trying to contribute to, to help the team win. So I think, uh, you know, I took a lot from it and I, I took a lot of, uh, you know, development and experience from it. So I think overall, it's just, uh, like you said, it's just exciting and, um, you know, to know that I can, uh, I can contribute and, and help the team is, is really good for me. And, um, you know, I just want to keep going and, uh, and keep building off that. What are the, what are the, some of the items on your, near the top of your to-do list, whether that's from exit interviews or just personally, what are the things you're, you're working on the most? I think just, uh, overall kind of, um, continue to do the same things I'm doing, just keep playing with confidence, um, you know, keep being, um, good defensively on the defensive side of the puck and, um, you know, just keep, keep, like I said, playing with confidence, um, you know, chipping offensively when I can and, um, you know, continue to use my skating and my size and, um, and just compete. I think overall for me, if I'm competing and I'm working as hard as I can, I think I'll be successful. So I think I took that off this year and, um, I think that's, that's really important for me to keep in my head and, um, you know, just kind of stay at that, um, you know, competitive and, and, uh, you know, hungry level. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Next up, Ansar Khan, M Live. Hey, Michael. Uh, what was the uh, your two way game? Was that the, the the area that you saw the biggest improvement in this past season, or was there some other areas that you felt you took a, a step in? Yeah, I think for sure uh, defensively. I think uh, you know that's a big thing with with you know earning ice and earning trust among the coaches and um, you know in your role. So. I think I tried to take a lot of pride in that and, um, you know, watch a lot of video and um, really focus on that. I think it's it's obviously a huge part of the game. So um, I think I can be really good at it. So I think um, if I keep improving at that, I think, uh, you know, it'll be good for me and, and good for the team. And just how is your uh, summer, uh, uh, your training and just your off-season program, how is it different uh, or is it different this year compared to last year? Oh, it's pretty similar. I think uh, you're always trying to get kind of the cliche things bigger, stronger, faster. So I think for me, I just want to stay, stay quick and stay fast while, um, you know, building the frame I have and, and being as strong as I can with, uh, you know, with my frame. So I think biggest thing for me is just staying fast and staying, you know, quick. I think, uh, you know, when I'm using my skating and, and I'm playing with pace, I think that's important for me. So I think overall, it's just kind of the same things, but um, you know, definitely, uh, definitely just being fast and um, as quick as possible is, is huge for me. Thanks, Michael. Next up, Art Regner, TrueRedWings.com. Hi, Michael. Hey, Art. How's it going? I'm doing well. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I want to go back to uh, June of 2017, your draft year in Chicago. I remember stumbling in on your little draft celebration there at the uh, – which was the media hotel as well. Your family all in Red Wing gear. I think they must have bought out the place. But my, my question is, is what, what do you know now that you didn't know then that maybe you thought you knew 
about what you were getting yourself into the, the life of a professional athlete? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, uh, I think overall, just, just how it's an everyday, everyday job. I think every day, I think, uh, you know, this year I took a mindset that, you know, maybe tomorrow I won't have a job or maybe tonight I won't, um, you know, play as much as last night. So I think uh, just to sum it up, it's just, it's just being a pro every day and, and working, working as hard as you can every day. Um, and, and just trying to be the best you, you can be, um, every single day. It's, uh, you can't really, you can't take a day off, um, you know, mentally or physically. So I think overall, just the consistency aspect of, of, you know, your hard work and your, um, you know, dedication to whether it's learning through, through video or, or being in the gym or, uh, practicing, I think, uh, I think you, you don't really know those things until you kind of get, uh, you know, thrown into the fire a little bit. So I think, uh, uh, just experience and and um, and all that is is uh, you know what I didn't know I guess. When you uh, when you look at that first year and where you either had to stay in Detroit or be sent back to junior, do you look at that as a real trying time for you? Um, were you glad that you? Sp- How beneficial was it to stay in Detroit instead of uh, instead of going back to the Americans? Oh, I think whenever you can, you can play in the NHL and be among pros and uh, be among great NHLers like I was, I think you can only take it as a positive. So I definitely take that as a positive and, and, a, and a big learning experience and um, just more experience in general uh, being in the NHL. So, um, you know, it's, it's tough to live in hindsight, but I, I definitely uh, take it as a, as a big positive. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that experience and, um, you know, kind of just uh, made me who I am today. So um, I'm grateful for that. When you look at, uh, has Alex Tangay, I know that, you know, on the power play, you know, I'm obsessed with your hand-eye coordination in front of the net. Uh, uh, have you met him yet? Has he talked to you? Because obviously uh, you should obviously be on the power play unit uh, uh, for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I met, uh, I met Alex uh, just in the gym, uh, I think a couple weeks ago, his first day around the rink. I uh, just talked to him briefly. It was, it was kind of mid-workout. So I just talked to him briefly, and he mentioned a couple things about the power play and, and just what he's excited for and that he's excited to be here. So I uh, haven't got too in-depth with him, but um, really nice guy and um, excited to work with him and uh, happy he's here. Speaking of nice guys, I, I know you and Dennis are from the same area. Uh, weren't you like fast friends growing up, but have you reached out to, uh, uh, to Dennis about uh, now being a Kraken? Yeah. Yeah. I was, uh, I was with him actually, uh, you know, when he kind of found out the news and, and all that. So definitely been in touch with him, just, uh, you know, seeing him around and, and texting him a little bit. So, uh, I think he's excited and, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, I'll definitely miss him. And uh, I think a lot of the guys will miss him. Um, uh, you know, he's kind of a day one guy for me. So, um, you know, he'll definitely be missed by me, but, uh, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna do great things, uh, you know, uh, wherever he would, he would be. So, um, I'm happy for him and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for him. As, as difficult, is that one of the most difficult things is to say so long to a buddy, to a teammate that maybe an adjustment that maybe we on the outside don't really think about too much? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's tough. I think, um, you know, we're, like I said, we're kind of, uh, you know, in it together since, since day one, we've always kind of tried to have each other's backs and lift each other up and support each other. So, um, you know, that, that won't change. We'll, we'll still uh, do that for each other. Just, I guess, on, on uh, kind of opposite ends of the spectrum now. Are you still going to claim you're only 6'6"? Yeah, I think so, Art. Really? You, you're going to go with that, right? Yeah. Uh, you, when, when's that. The, okay, and finally, any truth to the rumor that you're thinking about writing a nutrition book about the benefits of plums and how it has helped you on your journey? No, I think that's false. That's really? Just, just a rumor. Yeah. I, I think it would sell well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael. Hey, congratulations. I am happy for you. You put in a lot of hard work and uh, best of luck. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Art. Next up, Bob Duff, Detroit Hockey Now. Hey, Michael. Um, but people like us are always asking players about, you know, projections. Do they set goals for the year? But I just wonder from your point of view, what are the measurables you use to feel like you're doing the job well and you're playing well? Oh, I think just, just kind of in your question, they're just playing, I think, uh, earning ice time, earning games, 
um, you know, earning earning big moments in a game, uh, whether it's a big face off, um, you know, a big power play, um, you know, a big penalty kill, anything. I think I just want to be someone that uh, our team can can hopefully rely on and, um, you know, make uh, make big plays. So I think uh, I think overall just that I think just getting trust and um, continuing to grow in my role and, um, you know, chipping in, in, in a lot of aspects of the game. Last question, Kevin Allen, Detroit Hockey Now. Hi, Michael. Uh, I want to ask you, in the last few days, obviously, um, there's been a couple of moves the Romans have made that's kind of changed the uh, perspective, I think, a little bit of the team with the new goalie and uh, Nick Letty um, being added. What What was your uh, thoughts when you heard about that? Yeah, it was cool. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, Letty's a, a good defenseman, and he's uh, he's been around a while, you know, um, so it's, it's great to have, uh, you know, more experience and, and a really solid, solid player. Um, so I'm excited to, to meet him at camp and, and play with him. And, um, you know, I've known Ned a little bit through, uh, through uh, working out here in Detroit and stuff. So, I mean, he's a great goalie himself. And um, I think I'm just excited to meet those guys and, and play with them. Um, there, if I could follow up, there's a uh, – uh, obviously, you guys are in a rebuild mode, but at some point, sort of mentally, players start to kind of cross over. Uh, when you see um, that, uh, you know, the additions of, you know, the veteran player and Letty and then, you know, goalie that could be, you know, part of the team for a while, does it sort of uh, uh, give you a little more enthusiasm that maybe you're leaving the rebuild and entering into the competitive phase? Yeah, I think uh, either way, we're trying to kind of get out of the out of the rebuild and, and always try to win hockey games and be competitive. So I, th- I think obviously those two guys will really help our team. Um, but I think the guys that we have and the guys that, uh, you know, we have moving forward are are really hungry to get out of the, you know, stage or, or whatever it is. So I think uh, everyone's just dedicated to, um, you know, getting out of that and, and winning games. Thanks, Mike.